It's the game spitter, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel like I do that prize pick and that fan door and that only fans and that porn hood. Like the video like y'all like them old back pay prices, 40 and 60 and 80 for the hour. Understand that the Share the video like y'all share y'all baby mama, y'all baby daddy, man. Y'all Netflix password. Understand, it's a lot going on in the music industry right now, man. With Diddy, Meek Mill, his shit looking crazy. Y'all Miami name getting drugged into this shit. Come on, man. Like, old victims coming back out. They want more money. Story gotta be heard if people ain't heard it. Yeah, man. Like, Diddy finna fuck around and get hit with a Rico. He gonna lose everything because he... Got out of line, got in over his head. Yeah, he jumped in that quicksand. Now he in over his head, speaking out against the elite, trying to tell a hunky down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did it trying to tell hunky down and got his whole empire blew down. Yeah, he thought his empire, he thought his mansion, what he built was built off of bricks, but it wasn't no different from the other pigs. They built their house off of goddamn straw and sticks and shit. So when that big bad wolf came, the elite, the Jews, the whites, whoever, they blew his shit and shit. <laughs> All the way over there, like a tornado came through that bitch. You understand? So a lot of, you know, humiliation rituals and nigga may have to go to prison and start all the way over. <laughs> but one thing that Diddy know, he can always go back to the streets. Cause the elite, you know, he can do that. He go through that shit he going through. The elite may give him his little mojo back. He get a little, you know, he blackballed from a lot of other shit, but he do get somewhat poor. You know what I'm saying? Old friends that feel sorry for him or still fuck with him. Or they were just a genuine friend that got power or a key to this door so he'll be able to still fuck with street rappers they're gonna always fuck with him so when all this over with Diddy can, I can see him going back to the club hosting parties, you know what I'm saying walk dudes and shit like that you know what I'm saying, go back to the bottom cause them the ones I'm saying I'll let to say this if Meek Mill name coming up, Usher name coming up, you know and the other victims but Far as like street rappers, if Meek Mill done it, and speculations of French Montana and other artists, right? How many more street rappers they fuck with Diddy for a certain move, or to go through a certain door, or to get in a certain room, or whatever, whatever came with it, a hit record, his own. Um, Flavor and it's a rock. You see what I'm saying? Like, them the ones that's gonna keep quiet. Them the ones, they know they can get a bag. They know they can come out. Yeah, did it force me to do this for this? Yeah, but they whole career done. So the couple of M's they can get for that or whatever they can get, they don't wanna face the humiliation. So they're gonna keep their mouth shut. Cause they don't wanna get shamed. Cause nigga, you grown, you know what you was doing. You wanted that opportunity, like, you weren't going back to the hood. So, of course, me Mill going to deny it. Of course, me Mill another suit, or, and of course, the other rappers, they going to keep quiet. So, of course, when all this shit over with, they going to go back to the streets. Jump on these nigga records. Because he ain't lost no followers. He ain't losing no followers like Kashar Rock, losing followers. But putting that tattoo on the face. He ain't losing it, so he'll be able to go back to the bottom. And they're going to always keep them secrets. One of the reasons why he gave some of them niggas they publishing back and in the contract, keep your mouth shut. You can't speak on nothing. So he'll be able to, all them publishers he gave back, a lot of them artists starving. So he'll be able to go back and go on tour with the bottom bad boy artists. They're going to always go get the bag and go on tour. So all Diddy really need is the heat to get off of him and he gonna eat, eat. Back to the ghetto where they, where they keep your secrets. Cause these niggas still step us and they got respect and look that a certain way. So it is what it is. Yeah, niggas gonna say you still hanging with this one, but it ain't no different from 
nigga hang with a nigga that they say they're told or everybody still loving R. Kelly. If R. Kelly got out, he'd get some love from certain artists like Boosie and shit like that. They had stand beside him. So why wouldn't a nigga stand beside Diddy? If Boosie would stand beside R. Kelly, if R. Kelly got out of the date and hit up Boosie, the first day out and say, Boosie, I want you on this song. Boosie would do it with the charges R. Kelly got. So niggas would do it with Diddy. You understand? But Meek, <laughs> Diddy finna throw you an alley hoop. He finna pass you some of that humiliation ritual. Let you get a piece of it. Because <laughs> don't you want your spot back that you once had? Because Meek, we know, yeah, you stacked your money. Just because you stacked your money and you got M's in the bank don't mean you ain't fell off. That don't mean you ain't lost your position. Me, you ain't had no hit records. We ain't on your flow no more. So you best to be going to TV or podcast or you see how Cameron and Mace did it. You see how Gillian Wallow did it. You see how Joe Butt did it. Pick your lane. Pick your paper route. Just rapping shit or find you a big art and turn the nigga ass on to the paper route, man. But you got to get all the way out the way. It can't be you jealous and you still want to have a number one record. But it seems like you still want that spot. You want the crowd to scream, me, meal, me, meal. They're roaring the crowd. They're starting to fade away. Yeah, they'll scream for your old hits. You understand? Like, you took too long. We over your sound. That's what we mean by you fell off. We made you so we can <laughs> tell you when you got it and we can tell you when you ain't. We ain't no different from the Illuminati or the elite. <laughs> we like God to you niggas. <laughs> we give y'all the fame, we take it away. Just like them. It's just when they do it, your whole empire, you get crushed. You go to jail, you lose everything. You get blackballed. With us, you just get the you know, the comments and the numbers go down and shit like that. And we talk shit. But sometimes it happens all at once. Sometimes. But nah, nigga, we made you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all nigga keep saying fans can kick you down. They fake and all of that. How we fake? We made you rich. We voted your songs on them top tens and uh, the MTV shows and BT shows and radios and went to the club, spent our money with you, our time, watch you. We could have been working, watching our kids, watching your videos, watching your interviews, coming to your shows, spending our hard work of money on you. You ain't never gave us shit but a song. So how we fake when we gave you riches, fame, power, the fans, and all you gave us was songs. So we can't talk about you when we made you rich and you ain't never, you always took from us? Niggas better watch y'all mouth, man. <laughs> yeah, like you didn't pay a lot of rent or just because you gave some bikes in one city. When you got followers and listeners in every city, damn near. We made you look good on every platform we build. We can't talk about you because it's your turn. We fake. We turned you up on Spotify. Every, Twitter, everything. But we can't say nothing, but you ain't never gave us shit. You don't even follow us back on IG. But we, we, we so quick to tell you now. <laughs> we was paying two fifty a ticket, $150, $80 to come see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we made you. But nigga, it's your turn. You had to do what you had to do to get through this door, to meet this person, to hang with all these being there and shit. That's what you wanted, right? The power. So, nigga, you don't own no factories. You don't own no big major labels, no big major corporations. So, nigga, you want to skip all the workers? You want to stand beside me in NBA games and come to my party and sit right beside me and play tennis with me and shit like that and all my buddies and we go to our uh, boat parties and golf parties, and I mean, golf tournaments, and whatever. Alright? Do what you gotta do. So, yeah. You made that move. You still, hey, don't you got the money? 
you know, you good? We at the bottom. <laughs> we at the bottom. Yo, what it do, man? Hey, shout out to the game spitter, man. We in here locked in. People first logistics, man. Just packing a few orders, getting ready, man. Y'all get these hats, though. But if you want to learn about this trucking game, come tap in. Y'all already on game spitter page. You know he a real road runner. Look at me. We out here with these trucks. These all mine. I started with zero. I was in the NFL, played for the Cleveland Browns, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I got cut, but I ain't give up. I could have easily laid down and tucked my tail, but I went, built my own empire brick by brick with this trucking game. Oh, you don't even need no CDL to get in this game right here with me. Shout out to the Game Spitter, man. Y'all know what he do. Shout out Game Spitter for having me on this platform, man. Y'all book right here. Book the link down below. I'm offering mentorship. This is for all my guys. Hey, even if you got a felon, if you a felon, you can still get in the game right here. Trucking is the only thing you can make the same amount of money as a doctor without spending 10 years of your life in school. Get in this trucking game, man. You don't need nothing but a clean driver license to get this. And if you just want to be the boss, I can show you how to get your own trucking company and not have to drive a truck. And me, <laughs> ain't no question that you was the bottom. You was the bottom. We seen how you was looking in that pool. You was tooting that ass up. Like did it just ate your butt for two hours straight. And he told you, you get in the pool when that chlorine get in your anal, it'll bring down the swelling. When, it, when that chlorine hit the anal, it'll bring down the swelling. You know what I'm saying? Cause he just gave you tongue and mushroom tip. Tongue and mushroom tip, a legend. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lie. I'm just saying what, what they're saying in the blogs. But it's allegedly it probably ain't even true. But then again, you never know. But yeah, you was tooting that ass up. Y'all dressing a light. Ain't no way you was the top. The only way you got on that top level where you can say I'm the top is just because Diddy's so nasty and freaky. He made one of you to, you know, get behind him. But you know he's the aggressor. He tell you what to do. You kiss Diddy. You know, uh, Diddy look like one of them pretty boy, dark skinned niggas. He's usually the red nigga, but he one of them pretty boys, so he may be passionate. You know what I'm saying, Paul? You ain't kiss him, did you? You know what I'm saying? You the bottom. You did all the, you know, foreplay stuff. You understand? And since he fuck with you like that, he don't do you like the rest of them. He don't do you like the rest of them, so you get more pleasure than pain. So he can eat your booty out for about two hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you was tooting your ass up for like that in the pool? You never go swimming at Diddy House. Yeah, real Charlotte nigga. We ain't going to no rapper house going swimming like that. It gotta be a real street nigga like Boosie. You know, we go swimming at Boosie house. But we ain't going, when it get too high up in a hip hop game, we ain't going swimming at your house. Yeah, we'll go swimming at if, uh, Ice Well, got a pool party, Money Man, something. Yeah, we jump in they pools, soft walking them. But uh, nigga like Diddy, it get too uppity. Yeah, we ain't, nah. If you still do, stick the feet in, that's it. If you wanna jump out here and keep a t-shirt on, yeah, that's how shopping nigga coming. Yeah, you keep you keep the t-shirt on, tank top under that, with some uh shower shoes or pool shoes. Yeah, you ain't seeing nothing. But some legs. You had tattoos all over them. <laughs> you can't fantasize nothing. Everything look raw and gutter. Tattoos all over the legs. Yeah, what you on, man? Yeah, what you on, man? Uh but yeah, you can't goddamn jump in no pool at no diddy house, relaxing and wanting to go upstairs. You don't need no tour. Which is somebody showed on the IG or you see it in Rick Ross phone or something. Yeah, you don't need to go upstairs, look at the closet, look at the shoe collection, all that stuff, all that stuff. If he ain't got no studio downstairs, he try to be slick, have the studio upstairs and so you can walk past the bedroom. No. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else got their studio downstairs, diddy got the one upstairs. Nah, man, it's unique. This is when you fucked up at. This is when Diddy wanted you. This is when you made Diddy <laughs> go stiff. I'm just saying it's a legend, but this is when it happened. When he seen you, goddamn, do that right there. When he seen you do that, you put a whole type of nasty thoughts in his head, me. And if you'll do it for the other man, you gotta do it for the brother, man. Brother love. 
gotta do it for brother love. So with his nasty thoughts, you know, wicked thoughts, he wants you to do that same little hop hop, but he wants you to do it bucket naked. Cause you know, Diddy, he wanna hear that clap. He wanna hear that, your, your mushroom tip clap with your nuts. He wanna hear that clap. He gonna hear you. He gonna be playing that instrumental, that uh, Busta Rhymes, Pastor Kavassi Gay. He gonna play that or that Finna Get Loose song. You know, had them instrumental going. And had you have to jump around. First, he ain't gonna have nothing playing because he wanna hear that clap. And then once that clap get the rhythm going, then that's when he gonna play the song. Jump, jump. Don't get me, me, me. Jump, jump. No. Do this shit like that. Make the calf muscle strong. Make the calf muscle strong. You know what I'm saying? Because he like when you got damn be squirming and reaching for shit. He like when a nigga be reaching. That's what he told Fab. I don't know if he told Fab that, but Fab and Jada was right there in front of him. We told he, I like when niggas reaching for shit. He wants you reaching for the remote control, and then he got the vibrator bed, so you reaching for remote controls and shit. You know, they trying to stop the vibration. You understand? He pulling it back. You kicking the shit, the strong calf muscle, because you been having all that damn day, but you're tired. Man. That's brother love, though. That brother love, man. So it is what it is, me. That's the smut of your name right now. So you better go to the elite, tell them you want this as that mediation ritual. And yeah, you're going to ride this out. You're going to make your little response. Talking about you dropping music. You ain't dropping no goddamn music. You dropping dick off at Diddy House. I'm dropping dick off. I'm dropping, talking about I'm dropping music. You dropping dick off. Hell is you talking about? <laughs> The man ain't crazy, man. The way you drop that music. You ain't want to hear your music. You just sold uh, 30K, 15K first week, whatever y'all did. Poor numbers. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't give a damn about doing new music for no meat, man. Yeah, just because you can make a, a song, a couple of verses, and a hook. You want to see me fall? You want to see me fall? All of the little sad shit. I'm down, they keeping me down when I'm down. We ain't trying to hit none of that dough. We go the right way for that. He do it much, much better. Yeah, all of us, yeah, we ain't trying to hear that from you, man. You better get in your bag, man. You better get in your bag or you run over. You're going to be on tours. It'll be a, a big tour lineup. Six, seven rappers on it. You'll be on it. you going to always eat, eat. you going to always eat, eat. You understand? So, shit. Don't kick down. Did it, though. Just, you know. Say what you're going to say, let that shit blow over. You understand? But just know anytime you get into it with a nigga, they're going to bring shit like this up. Every time. It don't matter. But the thing is, me, you know in your head, all the other rappers, they can't say nothing because they done did the same shit that you did, allegedly. But it ain't their time yet. It may not never be. <laughs> but you know they done done. But they done done. Because all monsters like Diddy. Got a list. All oh, pedophiles got a list and footage. So I'm pretty sure it's proof footage, underage girls, everything you want to see, everything, all the rumors. I ain't gonna say all of it, but a good percentage. A lot of shit on tape. A lot of shit on tape. And people got it. They got it in their phones. They got it on. Files, they got it on USBs, they got it on type of shit. Yeah. And sometimes people make a killing off of it. They make a living off of it. Extortion. I ain't gonna say a living, but they make people salaries. They make 40K, 100K, quarter million. You never know. Depends on what tape it is. Depends on who got it. Depends on how they negotiate. You understand, but they're making people salaries, whether it's a Walmart salary, a Chick-fil-A salary, a truck driver salary, a teacher, a police officer salary. These, these niggas are storing shit. And yeah, motherfucker paying it. Because they got proof. So, like, it's a lot of rappers, they eyes big. Because they didn't do the same shit. Or they didn't did shit with Diddy. Threesomes, all type of shit. Orgy parties. You understand? Some rappers that's hearing all this shit and Diddy wanted them and they knew that Diddy wanted them but they ain't never go. They turned it down. They like, I knew it. 
I knew it. Yeah. Because, you know, the rappers that he couldn't bend over or he couldn't get nothing from, he'll leave little hands. Like that time he left a dildo in the bathroom when Mace came over there. You know what I'm saying? Little shit like that. Or the time he told 50 Cent he wanted to take him shopping. Or the time he told Fabulous, that's part of me and you. Little hints. Or the time he called Buddy. And it was 12 o'clock and he was beside his wife. And his wife say, put it on speaker. And Diddy say, come over, just me. Just me and you, just me and you. Yeah. And depending on, and Diddy had, how good the mouth is, pause. How good the bikini bottom where it stink at, not wink at. How good all that shit, how you hold them, all that shit does. That's how big of a favor or opportunity or whatever. So we seen Fresh Montana get the liquor line. Now we don't know if he had to do something, but to get a liquor line, if he did do something, yeah, he, he's really satisfied, did he? Now, whatever he did for you, I don't know what it is. It could be an investment. Like a lot of shit that people like Diddy got connections in and pull in and power in. We ain't gonna see it. It'd be an investment on a building or a hospital or whatever. And the only way that you can get in on an investment, you gotta know somebody like Bill Gates or Diddy or Jay. They gotta put the word in or they don't want your money. They don't need your money. So by you doing that with Diddy, Diddy make a phone call and yeah, <laughs> Mark could have been had or whoever, whatever billionaire you was fucking with, they saying he could have been fucking with Diddy. He didn't make the phone call. Yeah, me cool. I already broke him. He cool. He's still fresh. Still doing trade offs like slavery days. You know what I'm saying? And you can invest in on this deal or this situation or they'll tell you about a stock and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They all type of shit. And then when you fuck with them, they'll put you on other plays. It's behind the scenes. So it's a lot of shit that these rappers, male and female, RB singers, comedians, uh, actors, whatever they gotta do, cause the money don't always come from shows and <clears throat> features and uh, IG. Sometimes you gotta invest in this and invest in that, and do this and do this and go in this room and meet this person. So they gotta do what they gotta do to get in these spots. So we did it, man. I do think a Rico may come down on them. You know what I'm saying? Just to show Jay Z, Beyonce, Master P, Master P, you doing a lot of yip 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 yip. Whining and complaining. Yeah, you never know. Walmart, the CEO, the owner, whoever, make a phone call. You understand? Let you fuck around, make Walmart lose a lot of customers or business. They'll spank you, nigga. They'll spank ya. You understand? Uh, so, yeah, Birdman, <laughs> you watching? Jermaine Dupree, you watching? All y'all niggas that know secrets and shit, you watching? Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Drake. Drake, if it can be done to him, it can be done to you. You understand? <laughs> Ice Spice, you see this? Yeah. That's what it is, man. But let my take on this shit right here, man. Y'all hit the like button, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Share the video. If I'm wrong, y'all drop in the comments. Cuss me out. You understand that, dog? Go. This video right here is brought to you by People's First Logistics Company. Say, man, hey, man, I done found a connect, I done found a plug, former NFL player. We talking about Sidney Tarver. Yeah, he got done with that, came on the transportation side, and ever since it been homicide, because he been killing this truck and shit. I'm talking about over 50 trucks. I'm talking about over 80 drivers. I'm talking about over 3 million made three times. I ain't talking about two, I'm talking about three times. Back that, back, back that, back. I'm talking about like, you think he passed my home. You think he time braided. How he keep going to the Super Bowl with these three million dollar years. You understand that, Dev? Ladies, y'all getting y'all tax money back. Don't go get the BBL. Don't get no tummy tuck. Boss up on you females. Boss up on your baby daddy. Invest in one of these sprinter bands. You don't need no CDL. You don't need to learn how to drive no 18 wheeler. You ain't got to back up to the dock. Nah, but the sprinter van. You don't, you can put a team in it. Yeah, if you need drivers, Sydney Tarver, he got you. Hit the link, come to the website. You wanna buy merch, you need to learn how to automate your business, hit the link, hit the website, book a call with Sydney Tarver. What you waiting on? Over seven million packages delivered through that van. I told you you got over 80 drivers, and he backed up by the cartel, Amazon. You gonna always have work, you ain't never sitting, not for too long anyway, because how many people use Amazon? 
You understand? He's going to teach you how to join that DSP program with Amazon. They're going to start you out with a little twin, 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 and then see what you can do from now. So it's up to you. Don't go buy that scat pack. Let it wait. You've been waiting. You've been driving an RT. Keep doing it for a little bit. Go get you a van. Put you a team in it. Then you can get the demon. You can skip the Hellcat and the Red Eye. Get you a demon. Don't go get that Red Eye. Relax. You can get you a Ferrari. Get you two or three vans. You get you two or three vans. Don't go put down no 30, 40 racks on no car. What's wrong with you, dog? Like you, and especially you in the streets. You working a nine to five. You got 15, 20K in your 401K. Pull it out. Pull it out. Hit the link. Book a call. It can change your life. It will change your life. All you got to do is put your all into it. Learn the game. Then apply that pressure. Yo, what it do, man? Hey, shout out to the game spitter, man. We in here locked in. People first logistics, man. Just packing a few orders, getting ready, man. Y'all get these hats, though. But if you want to learn about this trucking game, come tap in. Y'all already on game spitter page. You know he a real road runner. Look at me. We out here with these trucks. These all mine. I started with zero. I was in the NFL, played for the Cleveland Browns, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I got cut, but I ain't give up. I could have easily laid down and tucked my tail, but I went, built my own empire brick by brick with this trucking game. I, you don't even need no CDL to get in this game right here with me. Shout out to the game spitter, man. Y'all know what he do. Shout out game spitter for having me on this platform, man. Y'all book right here, book the link down below. I'm offering mentorship. This is for all my guys. Hey, even if you got a felon, if you a felon, you can still get in the game right here. Trucking is the only thing you can make the same amount of money as a doctor without spending 10 years of your life in school. Get in this trucking game, man. You don't need nothing but a clean driver license to get this. And if you just want to be the boss, I can show you how to get your own trucking company and not have to drive a truck. Hey, man, say, man, if y'all need promo, you're an artist, you got a take coming out, an album, whatever. Whatever. Well, it was already out. You need videos reviewed. Uh, of course, that's going to cost more because, you know, they be getting copyright strikes and you put on yellow and all the deal. But I'm working with all budgets, man. You need shout outs. You got a business. You got whatever going, man. I'm shouting out everything. I'm working with all budgets. Come to the IG, the underscore game, underscore spitter, the email that's going to be in the bio. Understand? So tap in with me, man. And we doing shit ASAP, man. We ain't playing no games. He was with-